Hello everyone from Tony the Scar Ghost. Today I want to show you the various camera pass-through modes of the Valve Index. So first of all, how to activate them? Well, uh, it took me a while to understand this also because of some glitches of Steam VR, but actually now everything works. So to see it better, my advice is to close Steam VR home. So just uh, if you see Steam VR home, close it by pressing the system and uh, writing, selecting that you have to close Steam VR home. So you are here in this environment or you can even choose uh, one with a single color. But this way you don't have the VR visuals disturbing you while you want to see your pastel. So how to activate it? First of all, you have to go to your settings. Sorry if I'm mine are in Italian. Uh, you have to select camera, the third option. And then to make sure that you have the first and third option selected. Um, this one will let you uh, use the uh, visuals of the real world to have a button to select the visual of the real world that is this one. So if you see here you have this eye that is visa stands in Italian I think that in English is something like home view but you can see the eye the oculus <laughs> symbol <laughs> looks like the old oculus symbol and you have these options with which you can customize your vision but let me press it and now you should see that my vision has become one of my messy office. And I have a vision with all of edges. So I can see the edges of the real world. So if you remember my experiments with bit reality and other applications, you know that I like to play with mixed reality in VR. Um, this is exactly what we did for bit reality on the Vive Focus and Vive Focus Plus. So you basically take the images of the real world and you apply an, an edge filtering and you obtain the edges. So I can only see the edges in this mode. Um, but you can see it's enough to move inside my room safely. You may wonder uh, how it is the scale, uh, how it is the visuals, but I will comment it when I will activate the last view that is the one of the real world. So now, for now, let's enjoy these edges. You can also customize the the color of the edges as you want here you can see I can change the color of the edges so the second option is very similar to the first one actually but you have a more opaque vision so it's like you have um, not only the edges highlighted but you see also the real world in black and white um, anyway with the color that you selected so it's like colored with the color that you like. Let's say green. I see all my words as green with very bright green edges highlighting everything. So compare it with before where everything were only the edges and now there is also something that fills the space, the visuals of the camera, of course. Let's see also here we can change the color and it's beautiful. It's like being in a discotheque. Two, 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 two. Uh, the third option is a translucid visual. So you see the real world, but as you can see in this world, you can also see in a part of the virtual world. So it, the real world is translucent, is not fully opaque. You see it, but you still see the virtual world. If you want to see the full visual, you select the last one. This way I just see the real world. So how it is, I can also remove the, the menu and I'm in the real world. So how it is this quality of this pesto? Well, um, good and bad. Uh, the good stuff is that it's the best password that I've ever seen in a VR headset. So why? Because it is in color and it's high resolution at 60, 30, 60 frames per second. So the, um, the other cool password that I've seen in VR, the one of the Vive Pro, is good, but the resolution is lower, the frame rate is lower. Here it is very good. I can also move in my room. Um, 
do whatever I want. It's safe. I can talk with people. I take stuff, etc. So it's better than the quest. It's better than the focus because they are on black and white. So it's very good. Of course, other devices like Vario, the costs really a lot. Have even better pass through options. But on the let's say consumer side of VR, this is the best one I ever tried. Uh, so this is for the good. For the bad, we have the wrong scale, because you can't appreciate it from the video, but even if the visuals are 3D, so I can really have the sense of depth, the sense of depth is all wrong. So I can see this bottle in front of me, but actually it seems like a half a liter bottle for my visual, but actually it's one liter and a half. So I tried to take it, but I, I can't take it because for my brain it is here, while actually it is here. So um, if you haven't tried the Oculus Quest, you know what I mean. The scale is all wrong. Everything seems smaller than it is. Um, and that's bad. So I can't imagine for the moment doing something uh, blends completely the real and virtual world. When we're experimenting with the Vive Focus Plus, actually the scale is good. The scale, uh, you can adjust the scale to be good in our pastoral algorithm. Uh, here, no. The problem is in the position of the camera that on the Vive Focus is in the position of the eyes. Here it is on the edges. So Valve had to do some calculations and the result is very good, but there are some distortions. The other problem is the uh, resolution. Uh, I can't read stuff. I can't read anything. I can't use my keyboard. I can't use my screen. So it's like have a blurry vision. So it's interesting, but it's not usable. You can drink something. You can say hello to a friend, but you can't read a book this way. You have to remove your headset. Um, what else? Uh, for the rest, the, the colors of the world are washed out. But pff, again, not a big deal. And you can also see that the vision, uh, the real vision doesn't completely cover all my field of view. Sometimes you can also see it in my video. Look at the edges of the right edges of the video now. You see that you see the virtual world. Uh, why this happens? Uh, I know it because <laughs> of my experience. It's most probably because of the reprojection that Valve uh, applies to give the camera view more frame rate than actually it is. So you can use it in a 90 or uh, 120 frame per second uh, headset and uh, most probably also because the dimension of the image of the camera is not the same of the image the resolution of the image on the screen. So you have to do some calculations, you have to do, have to do some reprojections and again there are some parts of the screen that are not completely covered by the pixels of the camera if you try to do these calculations. So, but it's nice, I can walk back and forth in my office and completely well with the index on. And so it's a very good option, I think. Oh, let me have a seat. So, I really hope you enjoy this little tutorial on the uh, Valve Index Pass to Options. If you liked it, please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel and also, please, uh, donate something to my Patreon account, uh, patreon.com slash card ghost. So, um, I wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful virtual reality.